Hi, I'm Zoe Francois. And I'm Jeff Hertzberg, and we are the authors of Artisan Bread in Five Minutes a Day, and Zoe is going to mix up a batch for you. I'm going to mix up the master recipe from our book, and it's so quick and so easy. And we just start with a big a bucket like this, about six quarts, enough to mix up four or five loaves at one time. It only requires four ingredients unbleached all-purpose flour, water, kosher salt, and then red star yeast, either active dry or quick rise will work. So I'm starting with warm water. Dump that in. It doesn't really matter what order, but I do the water and then the salt, the yeast, and then the way that we measure our flour is to do the scoop and sweep measure. So we just scoop it up out of our container and then sweep that off and it gives you a really nice level measurement of flour. And then we just dump all of that flour and then we just stir this up until all of that dry ingredients is incorporated into the water and it only takes a couple of minutes. So I have just mixed up our master recipe and then I'm just going to very loosely cover this up with a lid and if you're using a Tupperware or something else, you just want to put the lid on very gently. You want some of those gases to escape from the yeast. We let this rest on the counter for about two hours, and then it can go into the refrigerator for up to two weeks. And Jeff is now going to form a loaf. Zoe has mixed up enough dough for four loaves of bread. And at my house, every day I go to the fridge, and I tear off a piece, and I bake it. And that's the way we get five minutes of active preparation time per loaf. So let me show you how to do it and pop the lid off. We don't keep it fully popped down because we want it to let the gas escape. I'm going to sprinkle a little flour on top of that so just so that it doesn't stick to my hand. And I'm going to cut off using a kitchen shears, you can use a knife too, about the size of a grapefruit piece. And I'm going to dip it in flour. I've got some white flour sitting here. Get it covered with flour on all sides. And now stretch the top around to the bottom and turn it in your hands and you can see it gradually turns into a very nice even ball and you should be able to finish that job in about 30 seconds. Take a little bit of cornmeal and if you want you can use parchment instead of cornmeal that's just fine. Put your ball here and that's going to sit for 40 minutes it doesn't have to be covered for that kind of a short resting time and we'll come back after it's set and slash it and bake it. My loaf has been sitting now for 40 to 60 minutes and I'm just going to throw a little bit of flour on it just like that so that my knife doesn't catch in it because I'm going to want to slash this so it opens up beautifully. I'm going to make a cross in this particular loaf. Now head over to the oven. I'm going to go ahead and just throw it in there just like that and now get myself some uh, hot water and I'm going to throw that hot water, about a cup, into a metal pan. It's got to be metal. And we bake at 450 degrees for about 30 minutes. Keep an eye on it. Watch for browning. We'll slide it out of the oven. And we are going to let this cool on a rack. OK, our bread is cooled and it's ready to serve. As you can see, it's simple, easy, delicious. Anyone can do this using our method from our books, which are available online and from bookstores all over. And our next book is about pizzas and flatbreads. So go to redstaryeast.com for more recipes.